I wonder how many of y'all actually believe that I was going to drop Blue Archive. That's like, are you kidding me? Do you see the numbers? Blue Archive is killing it because you guys, not my community, but the external Blue Archive community has given me the opportunity to watch my videos and to actually, you know, engage with this. So I appreciate that. And yes, we're going to be moving it from Sunday. Usually it comes out on Sunday, but the, the better subs and the high seas comes out a couple days after. So moving forward, we're going to be uploading Blue Archive whenever this goes live, which I anticipate it's going to be Tuesday night. Now, what's happened last episode plot-wise? Uh, Sekiro, not Sekiro, Serika. Sekiro is the game. Serika, the Sunday cat, has been corrected, you know? She was like, oh, I don't like Sensei because it's disrupting you know what we used to have as our high school group a sensei came along and things are changing but it turns out he's an actually good person and Serika is very adorable there are some other things that we learned about how sensei has been given the shitim's tablet it was like what's it called the shitim chest i think basically a lolly lives inside this ipad she's submerged in water for some fucking reason and i think that's aruna right and, and aruna is just like this crazy ai that can give us all the answers to whatever we fucking want so the shitim chest fucking busted i think we ended last episode with some teasers of a new faction being shown i think they're called some gang number i forget what it's called they're like the problem solvers or some shit right let's begin today's episode one number away from you know 69 would have been perfect why 68 69 could have been so mean material man and what is this riku hachima what a name riku hachima that's fucking five syllables bro can i just call it riku what is this an evil a day <laughs> is their mantra wait there wait there this thing is just called an evil a day it's not like an evil a day keeps the doctor away it's just an evil a day just basically just do an act of evil a day is what they want they're like villains straight up huh Oh shit, even their guns, bro. Even their guns look sinister, right? Like, look at their outfit. It's all dark, red colors. She seemingly has, like, horns like a demon. Their halos look pretty cool, too. Leave it to Problem Solver 68. Archive 3. Mm -hmm. They took something from a tank? Illegal armor. Sorry, illegal military gear. Unless we ask Problem Solver 68, because they can do everything, right? So Katakata Helmet must have quoted them to get these illegal parts from the black market? <sighs> Who is actually sending the helmet gang at us? Uh Right, what, what are we doing? Are we just having a slice of life moment? Oji san flirting. Oji san can flirt because she's an old man. Okay. First year of college, not high school. Okay, she's a treasurer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bet on Bitcoin. Crypto scam. Germanium bracelet. Oh no. Just as I was talking about crypto scam, she has seemingly got into a pyramid scheme just by, you know, this chart of one person going to two people and two people going to four people. And okay, this is a fucking pyramid scheme, right? I think she's actually getting baited. <laughs> Sorry, Serika. <laughs> you didn't know? Yeah, how are you gonna fall for this? This is the shit like middle-aged fucking moms fall for when they see like fucking like rare minerals and like chakra stones and it restores like your inner key and you gotta buy a lot of this shit. Oh, don't forget to just buy this one rock though. You gotta buy this extra package that includes two other rocks that actually boost the efficiency of the original rock and that's what they fucking get you. Serika, how are you falling for this? <laughs> she fell for it! See? But I tell you, it's the package. You gotta get the other one so that the first one can be enhanced even more. Classic. Very innocent, very naive. Uh, well, oji san is supposed to be an oji san, old man. What do old people like to go in Japan? They don't, don't they like to go to the pachinko thing? You know, basically Japanese slots. Maybe she's gonna say, let's go fucking gamba at the slots and then fucking just win. <laughs> what is it? What is it? So get more students. 
but that's not gonna happen. Everyone left because we're in debt. Okay. Really? Yeah. Fish them up from other school buses. It sounds like she's trying to kidnap these kids from the other school buses and place them here. <laughs> With an actual gun! <laughs> and you can tell they're NPC characters. Why? Not because of their base designs, but their halo. If their halo is pretty... One of, it's, if it's just this like white halo, the Katakata Helmet Gang also had the same shit, right? The more, you know, design, the more detailed the halo is, the more important they are is what I'm seeing from this show. <laughs> All right, just Robin. Sure. Good old fascism. What's the? <laughs> she took it so seriously. There was no hesitation there. She was actually down. She's like, yes, this is the way to get out of debt. So three other schools to be aware of. I remember the Gehenna name from the previous episodes when we're doing a quick little. It was really fast showing all these different factions. And remember this frame where I showed you and on top of a the stairs, there was this girl with this giant ass fucking halo, but it was like a crown instead. And I was like, yo, are this group the Gehenna? Maybe it's not, but they did seem like Gehenna reminds me of something affiliated with like the underworld from darkness. And they, the background of that kind of like reminded me of that. Trinity. <laughs> Millennium. Gehenna. Does anyone have an actual plan? I know. Ask the fucking lolly in our iPad. What does Aruna think? Activate Shiren Chest Sensei. Just ask. Hey, how do we get out of this debt? Okay, Shiroko's second year. Shiroko is really serious about this. She got that serious coup de you know, humor, right? Because it's like, she's saying this ridiculous shit. This cute-ass girl brings up a fucking assault rifle, says, let's go rob a fucking bank. And she doesn't even find this funny because she believes in it. Wanna try it? Fuck it, let's go. It's turned into a heist anime. Not a joke. Like, she's been actually doing homework the entire time. She's actually studied the fucking bank. <laughs> How planned and excited was she for this? What did you say? We can look like wrestlers with- Oh. <laughs> you putting that- Okay, it's-, it's it... I was like, what kind of outfit is this? It, it looks like a tank top or something, but you know, it's literally just a mask they're gonna put on. This is not gonna look- What is this called? Balaclava or some shit? I forget. But it's basically, it's like a face mask and you put like a hole in your fucking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's rob a bank. Look at that pout. Look at that pout. I don't think she's smart. I think she's the airhead. She's the busty airhead of the group. She also has a golden credit card that can buy 40 dumbbells. Maybe we just swipe her credit card. Think about this, okay? Now, you're not, you, you, let me cook for a second. You're gonna think this is crazy, but let me just cook for a second. What if I told you that we can pay the debt by swiping on that credit card and getting into debt there? You know what I mean? It's like, yes, we have this debt, but we just get imaginary number by swapping the credit card, and then we take that number and put it in the debt. But yes, we do have the other debt, but at the very least, this debt is settled. But I don't think that would really work, right? <laughs> like, where are we gonna get the other fucking debt from? It's Kaiser 2 is gonna fucking collect us now. Okay. What do you got? <gasps> yeah. I'm. You know what? You know what? Let's go, Oshinoku work. I straight up think that this is a good idea. These girls? I think they could do it. Yeah. You, you got pretty high school, college girls? You got pretty girls of consenting ages acting as idols? Yeah, fuck it, let's go. You can make a lot of money. Straight up. You can not only get money, but people would actively want to sign up for a school because these girls are idols. This is actually a good idea. Well, why? It'd be fun. That's your signature pose. <laughs> Actually, if these girls do it, it could be really cute. I kind of want to see them all doing this pose, actually. Alright, then what do you got, bitch? All you've done 
so far is moderate the fucking meeting by asking questions from people. I haven't heard you come up with a single fucking idea. But I guess that is the point of our position. <laughs> Shit him chest. Ask shit him chest. Idol. I think idol is fun. Idol, idol, idol. Yeah! <laughs> sensei, Sensei was like, yeah, yo, let's, let's do the fucking idol. Sensei slowly showing his true colors. <laughs> so far, because like, I've noticed that uh, in Ark Knight's anime as well, Dokta, and in this show, Sensei, they don't really creep on the girls they don't really show any other emotions they're kind of there kind of like a static character because you're supposed to be self-inserting yourself there right but i feel like sensei right now just for a second just like show this true power level what is it yeah you're right it would be sensei to manager it would be manager kun now dude problem solver 80, uh, 68 I don't, oh, dude, the girl on the left and the right, I like them both, actually. They both remind me of, like, I don't know. She reminds me of, like, Shizuku from Mahoka. It's just the hairstyle. This girl here, she's always wearing, like, a baggy hoodie. She looks very comfortable, right? They got great design. Okay, they call her Aru. She's, uh... She's, uh, not a high school student, right? She is not a high school student, right? Cameraman? This is a college student, right? Aru-chan. Boss. Okay, boss. The small stuff? You mean people dying? Okay, they're outlaws. Alright, they're fun. Problem Solver 60 is very fun. Their designs are great too. I still think that it's unfair that Ayana gets to fucking host a meeting and gets to basically skip out on offering options while all these girls actually put in the time and thought, dude, Shiroko did Shiroko fucking knitted the balaclava. She was even thinking about the optimal route. Fucking the, the blonde girl Nono something, right? She fucking made the what's it called? She even prepared the idle pose. And Ayana's just gonna be fucking mad over that? Unreasonable to me. Is she really? Okay, so they baby on it. It's kind of cute. How much is the cheapest food? Okay, so problem solver 68. They are also broke as fuck because they keep fucking up so they got no money. No, 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 580 yen is too much. They gotta sit down for a cup of water, bro. And then they have to beg for fucking leftovers. He's very cute, though. <laughs> okay, it's under 600. It's affordable. <laughs> 600 yen for four of them. It was not for each. They were looking for a group meal. <laughs> How are you an actual fucking real group? How, how the fuck? No wonder there's fucking nearly three lollies in this group, bro. No wonder none of them are fucking developing. They need real food. Aru, you look so proud right now. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. We're pro. <laughs> Ironically, also looking at this, remember, remember, with your broke ass. People right at the money, y'all. There's poor people around. <laughs> <laughs> with your broke ass. I feel bad. These these girls are really cute. They're really cute, but like they're so broke. They gotta their ramen has turned into a fucking hot pot. That's what I'm realizing. This is no longer a ramen store, bro. It's a fucking hot pot place, and they're gonna share out of one fucking bowl. Are they more broke than us? Okay, so this girl's quirk is super defeatist, just acts like she's like a fucking worm. She's like nothing. That's what she, I know, identifies as because she got no money. Relax, girl. Oh, <laughs> look at these two fucking broke ass bitches fucking coping. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We're both broke. We're having a moment here bonding. <laughs> Students of what? College, right? Not a high school. His tail is wagging. Why is Boss so goddamn cute? 
ちょっと待ってな席に座って待ってこうじゃないんだけどね強いて言えば金遣いの荒いあるちゃんの okay, not always broke. Got it, got it. 全員確保にほとんどの資金を使う。Sounds like the leadership is incompetent. <笑>でもこうしてラーメンは口に。I fucked up, but it was actually all calculated. Just so that we would have one bowl of ramen. とてないよ。でも社長、そこまでしなきゃいけないほど、次なってないと思うよ。<笑>だからビビっていっぱい雇ってるんだよ。Hired those goons. Hired those goons. So, wait, she hired? I thought that, like, um, Kata Kata Helmet Gang was asking Problem Solver 68 for something, but it sounds like this gang, Problem Solvers, hired a different group. And the only group that I can really think of is the Helmet Gang, because that's all I really know. But it could be some of the other schools, like uh, Trinity, Millennium, Gehenna, that they were talking about. I don't know. <laughs> But you already failed today. What do you mean failure is an option? So they got a bendy a 68 on the motto, yo. This group is basically just out of acting kind of tuny and like important, but she doesn't really know what she's doing. And sometimes she like, you know, contradicts her trips over. And then you have this girl on the hoodie that's just like out of chance being tuny again. Oh, is it service from boss? That's on the house. It's on the house. Oh, just a little bit. Ah, it's on the house, girl. Don't worry. <laughs> Thank for this, sir. Slip. All right, take it. Slurp that shit. Umai. Oishi. Oishi. The girls always says oishi, and the guys always says umai. I think she's fucking lying. I doubt this. You sound like you're a ramen connoisseur. You ain't got no money for this shit. Doubt, doubt. Oh! So they are Gehenna. Okay, I thought, okay. Because Problem Solver 68 is an independent club, but it doesn't mean that they're not associated with the school. So within Gehenna, there is this club called Problem Solver 68. Gotcha. So Abidos. Is that. Are they scared? She's kind of sweating. It's because. Are we the target for the next hit? Most likely. That's why she's like, ah, shit. So, like, hold up. If we inevitably get into conflict in the future because we are the next target, then could we bring up the ramen thing? It's like, just as we're about to attack, it's like, wait! I fed you the fucking ramen! Think about what boss Shiba Inu would think! <laughs> and the second they're like, oh, no, they did feed us! I still don't think you're a connoisseur, you're lying. Are we friends? Shiroko and Aru? Aru's actually having a lot of fun, she's kind of made friends. They're not even evil, right? <laughs> They're outlaws. <laughs> yeah, they're even card. The tag says Abidos. NANI! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bro, uh, this girl in the middle just like roasts the fuck out of Aru at, at every point, and she's totally fine with Aru being, you know, a clueless leader because she just keeps roasting her. <laughs> Yeah. Just said, ha, wow, well, amazing what, you know, life might happen. Fate like that. She's got a sick jacket, though. I, I do love, you know, her design. Specifically the jacket where you don't put your arms into the sleeves. You wear the jacket like a cape, so the sleeve is fluttering around. You know, like in One Piece, the Admirals, right? I do love that kind of design. Okay, the height-wise, this girl that rose out of the most is the shortest, huh? Hmm. Maybe the ramen will come in clutch next time we meet. Ooh! Whoa, what was that? This isn't shit him chest, is it? Is this the iPad the sensei gave it to her? Anyway, suspicious activity detected in school perimeter. That is Shidem Chest, right? I can't tell if it's the same iPad. 
More NPC yeah, girls. <laughs> more NPC girls with white halos. <laughs> they don't even show her fucking face because it's easier to animate them if you cover their eyes with the helmet and a mask. So this is who they hired. Wait, 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 what? Just remember we're clocking. <laughs> So this mercenary group's like, you hired us for fucking one hour. As soon as that's done, I am fucking out. Broke ass. <laughs> they cut her face. This is so funny. I don't know why it's so fucking funny how these mercenary group is like, we, we don't really give a shit about them. We're just gonna be doing it for like 30 minutes or an hour because you fucking cut our pay. Aru has like a sniper maybe? It, what What is the difference actually? Can you guys tell me what the difference is between these girls and the Katakata Kata Helmet Gang. Because they are at the end of the day all NPC mobs. So in the game, do we have repeated reskins of the Katakata Kata Helmet Gang where they're put into different stuff like this, right? I know they wear a helmet and they're wearing a different shit and they're a different group. What I'm trying to say is whenever they have like NPC characters that's not that important, do they basically reskin the base NPC white halo girls and copy paste them and put them in a different outfit where you can't you see their, you know, eyes or face? No, no, me. Sensei. Yeah! We gave you extra! <laughs> Damn, they don't feel guilty at all? Six T8! Okay, on the right, we got some kind of like shotgun. I just got like a sniper, assault rifle, and silencer pistol on the left. Fixers. Basically, problem solvers. Mercenaries. Is it a respectable business? <laughs> I think this is the same thing. She just said titles and stuff. Sometimes, you ever, I don't know if how old you guys are, but sometimes you're in college and you're making what's called LinkedIn, and sometimes you'll see these people that are like, CEO. I am the creative director. I am the founder. But it turns out it's just a fucking company they made with one friend and it's not a real actual company. It's just an entity and they can basically label them as whatever they want. So out of right now, she's saying, you know, we're a respectable business. They're a group. We got, and this is the, you know, captain of the department of head or something, you know, she's giving, you know, random bullshit titles to make him feel cool. Depart what department? <laughs> what department? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go, Shiroko. <laughs> Something so funny about these cute girls with guns, bro. Oh, the pistol. Oh, assassin. She's probably too fast. Now she's sneaky. Grenade. Oh, dynamite. C4. But no one takes actual damage, right? Shiroko, no! Back to back explosions! Oh, clutch! Oh, Jason, clutch! All we have to do is just wait, though, because, like, they, she cut their pay, and they're gonna run out quick, and they're just gonna fucking leave, and when they leave, we're just gonna win. It's sunset lighting now. Just wait them out. I got a lot of bombs, man. <laughs> There's something funny here about how Aru's talking, but Sensei's voice like overpowers her voice, so it sounds like we're ignoring her chuni. <laughs> Maybe I'm overthinking it. Oh shit, activate shit him chest! Oh, 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 somehow Oji-san leading the front with the shield is working. They're getting picked off. Shotgun versus shotgun. Not even a damage on the clothes. Still don't really know why no one fucking dies from the bullets, but it's plot relevant. Oh shit, we took a hostage. Shiroko. 360 no scope Shiroko. More that eh. Can you really? Oh shit! It's a tie! Shoot anyways though. Do it. Okay, the, the, the NPC girls are gonna get the fuck out now, right? Alright, we're done. We're clocking out. Yeah, shift's over. Bye bye guys, I'm out.
<laughs> None of them give a fuck. <laughs> True? Oh, they go get hamburger? Where do they go? I want to know. Aru, what's going to do next? This is all part of my plan, I promise. I definitely plan to escape like this and just give you a chance because or else it'd be too easy, right? So you're lucky, Abidos. Until next time. <laughs> Not run, retreat. <laughs> they, yeah, are they friends, huh? That we just waged war against. Uh, maybe we should go get burgers with the mercenary group. Well, the kids definitely don't. I'm just guessing that it's Kaiser just because the iPad at the very top was talking about some kind of like Kaiser PMC at the top here, but I'm not sure. The data. Where did you procure the data? The data is always changing. This sounds actually plot important, right? The data is actually a key word. Some kind of algorithm, some kind of system that procures data of high school students' strength? The data! Oh. Yo, this guy's design is fucking sick. I will find out the reason for their new strength. It's senseis. And that's the episode. Another Blue Archive episode where it's just full of fun, laughter, crippling depression from death. But it's okay because everyone's still bubbly and cheerful. Problem Solver 68. I didn't really know what kind of group they would be. I thought they'd be some kind of really cool, like private investigator, like, I don't know, a hitman kind of group. And they should be but their leader Aru is a little chuny and she might be a little bit of a corny third-rate villain but I still love her she's great her friends are also pretty funny too about how they just keep roasting her right and I do like this girl's baggy hoodie I don't know something about the overly sized baggy hoodie is a really cool design I, I like her a lot some of the other things that was really nice is the ramen seed it's like we're so broke you got anything under 600 yen yeah we got this one bowl all right we're gonna share it with the four of us and then Fucking boss, you know, Shiba Inu you know, gave him the entire fucking hot pot of a ramen bowl and they still fucking betrayed us. Why? Because it's just business at the end of the day. For some reason, um, Problem Solver 68's next target is Abidos and their goal is to retake the school. Why? I'm not sure. I'm also still not sure what the hell the ending sequence was. I thought that, you know, this is about some kind of mission. This is the basically a summary of. Uh, Problem Solver 68's failure to take the school. And because it says Kaiser PMC up the top, I thought that maybe this is Kaiser, but I'm not really too sure anymore. But regardless, there's these girls that keeps coming to attack us and they want to take back the school. Why? Because our school, if they take it back, it's more money? Something like that? Or maybe there's a different plot line that I'm not understanding. But still cool to see more members from not just Problem Solver 68, but this is Gehenna students. And I'm pretty excited to see the other students from Trinity... Uh, what was the other one? Millennium, Gehenna. But then again, this is only a one season show. So uh, maybe I'm talking too quick. But that's it for me if you're still here. If you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists here for more content. And until next time, take care.